This video is going to be so hard to come up with a name for because I, I just have a lot of things that I need to get ready for. We've got a new shipment of chicks coming. Uh, actually, I think they're being shipped today, so maybe tomorrow. Uh, kind of hard to say with these things. But we've got 20 more layer hens coming and then five turkeys, which I've never raised turkeys before, but it's something that I've always wanted to try. And apparently this is the year that I'm gonna do it. I also need to get the barn ready and start moving hay bales. I know I've been talking about that for a while. That job keeps getting pushed off, but I think we are reaching the point where it can't be pushed off much longer. And I'm sure there's other things that are gonna happen today, but those are the two that I know about. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. If you guys remember these two large brooders here I used for my meat birds earlier this year and while I had them in here, what I would do is put bedding down and then when that would get dirty, I would just put another layer on top of that. So the, uh, the bedding and the trash, shall we say, has just sort of been stacking up layer by layer. And now with the new birds coming, I wanna get these all cleaned out and start that process over again. So I've got the manure spreader in here and I just need to shovel these out, put all of that chicken manure and rice holes into the manure spreader and then we'll find a place to spread this once I get it all cleaned up. But that's the main goal is to get these two brooders cleaned out right now so that they'll be ready for the next batch. The hard thing about doing this is I can't back the manure spreader up further to that second brooder, which would be a lot easier. I could just shovel it right in, but I can't do that because this, this header here is too low. The side-by-side -side hits it. So this is as far back as the manure spreader can go. But I've been thinking about this as I've been shoveling. If I move this brooder out of the way and then take the side off of the second brooder, I think this would be a lot easier. So let's try that. Much better. This manure spreader sure is handy for little jobs like that. I mean, it just, it works perfect. I know that a lot of people are probably gonna say that you can't put straight chicken manure on the pasture like that. It's too hot, it's gonna burn the grass. I, I can hear you guys typing it already. I'm not exactly saying that I think you're wrong, but what I did to sort of combat that is I turned this spreader down to the lightest setting so that it spreads that out. Um, you know, as much as what is possible for this machine. And I'm really not too worried about it. Even if it does burn the grass, it's such a small area that it's not 
really gonna be that big of a deal to me. The purpose of spreading this on the pasture has a lot more to do with just getting rid of it or having somewhere to put it rather than me thinking that I'm gonna get this like awesome growth from the grass in that spot. However, with all that being said, I will say this. A couple of times earlier in the season when I did clean those brooders out, I dumped that manure directly on the ground and it was on top of what was a little patch of ryegrass. That ryegrass did not burn, nothing happened to it, and in fact, it was a lot taller where I had dumped that chicken manure. So if it burns, I won't really be surprised. If it does nothing, I won't really be surprised if there is a little bit of added growth there. I also won't be surprised. At this point, I'm just curious to see what's gonna happen, good or bad. Next thing on the list, I've got these busted boards on this little fence line here. This is the kind of fence where I, usually I don't actually need it, but when I do need it, I need it. And when it looks like this, it just doesn't do what I need it to do. So I got a new board to put on the top. Uh, this other board that's laying down here, I think we can just nail back up. And then while we're at it, there's another one that's busted right here. Now's a great time to fix that as well. Do I have the tools I need? Saw, drill. You guys are wondering what the heck this thing is, huh? Hey buddy, how are you? Yeah, I guess that board's been there for a while. So whenever, well, let me tell you what happened here. This top two by four been broken for a while. That's on me, I should have fixed it sooner. But when I was doing uh, the spring vaccinations for the cows and I had them in this corral here a couple of the cows decided where this board was broken to jump the fence and that's how this two by six broke so now they have somehow pushed it this way and it doesn't want to fit here where it needs to go it's, I mean it's right there I think I can pop it in with a little bit more work but in case you were wondering why I'm struggling with this so much that's why I can get the crowbar in there and push this back enough. Oh, it's right there. We should we should be able to get it now. Come on, that ought to go. There we go, kind of. Maybe I should have got a new board for here too. Really? Just why didn't I get a new board for this? I, sh I should have known. I should know better by now. Feels like it's just going from bad to worse. Well, I've decided this end is too chewed up and only getting worse the more I'm messing with it. I believe I do have another new two by six in the garage up there. It's not gonna be long enough to span this whole area, but what I can do with the circular saw is cut this one off right here and then we can scab a new one in down low there. That's what I should have done. Well, I should have got a whole new board here um, in hindsight, that's really obvious now, but I don't know. At the time, I thought I could save this one. Lots of skill involved here. To not hit that nail. That's the thing I'm worried about the most. Ooh, hit something, didn't we? Got it. Uh-oh. 
Man. This is starting to be one of those days. When I measured the, the gap here, the distance, I paced it off. And usually I get pretty darn close that way. So I figured this was a 12 foot span and I bought a 12 foot two by four, but we're about, I don't know, four or five inches too short. So I guess what I'll have to do is cut this down and just do one per span. And then I've got another one I can use over there. All right, let's do it. Well, finally, we can check the fence off the list. And while I was sitting here doing this, I decided to drain uh, Buddy and Bismarck's water trough in case you're wondering why the ground's all wet right here. Every so often I'll drain them and clean them out and fill them back up. So I figured it was a good time to do it. My hope would be to have this fence replaced with pipe or panels or something to that effect uh, sometime in the near future, but that doesn't look like it's gonna happen really soon. So. That's why I went ahead and fixed this one, as opposed to the other fence in the background. I don't know if uh, the GoPro picks it up. It will be getting replaced this year. This fence, uh, I'm gonna have to rely on it for at least a couple more years. Next thing today is to get this barn cleaned out. I need to move the tractor, although I'll probably leave it right here until I start bringing bales. I need to get all the hay scraped out of here. It would be nice if I could get the feed wagon moved, the ladder moved, the cement mixer, all the stuff. I want it all out of here. And that way, when I do get a day that I can haul bales, it's just a matter of getting straight to it and not having a bunch of little jobs that I need to do before I can get started. Now the eight in hasn't been running a while. I hope she starts. Move this home. The barn is looking pretty good now and I think what I'm most impressed with is the 
tiny amount of hay that I pulled out of here. If you guys have been with the channel for a while, you might remember that when I was storing square bales in this barn and I would go to clean it out at the end of the year, I would have like a mountain of hay out there in the corral that was essentially just wasted. And since moving to round bales with net wrap, um, I, I just noticed a lot less waste in the barn, which is awesome. So now I guess I don't have any more excuses. I, I need to start hauling some bales. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.